We did it with Warsaw. Next up was FC Hollywood. Then it was the turn of the famous Yelts. But now it's time for a new road to glory. A club formed in 1897 as the Wesleyans and nicknamed the Stags. As you may have already guessed, the team that we're going to be taking to the Premier League and all the way to the Champions League final is, of course, Mansfield Town FC. And we are going to be taking this little old one and a half star club to the heights that they've never seen before. Now, you know I love to do a little bit of research in these clubs. Did you know that the oldest football ground in England is Field Mill? Our home stadium. Oh, we might give it a reno, but we're never leaving. But the man taking us to the pinnacle of football, no, it's not a tank. It's not even a tanky junior. I told you he'd be back. It's our boy Harley. Now, just to add a little bit of spice, a little bit of extra challenge to this RTG. We're going to need to be getting all of those scouts back in the club because we will only be allowed to sign free agents. And at the end of every single episode, I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive into the free agents market, breaking my searches down through different age ranges, different positions to unearth some of the world's best or maybe just up and coming stars and build a team capable of dragging us up these leagues until we get to the big end. In the lot. Now, if you think that sounds easy, just pick up all the best talent. Spend no money at all, you are sorely mistaken, my friend. Because when they sit down in our Harley's office to discuss their contract length, that is the exact number of years that they will be spending at our club. No renegotiation. So the lower rated youngsters, they're happy to spend five years here. But your higher rated grizzled veterans of the game, they're only going to want to stick around for a year or two. But at the end of every season, we're going to look at the players who are going out of contract. And I'm going to throw it over to you to save three of them. Who goes? You decide. So then, with all that being said... Let's have a look at the boys. Now, as we look at the formation, we've clearly got the 4-1-2-1-2 going on. Almost playing with a back five, though, out of possession. But looking at the players, it seems that we've actually got a decent team. I've been told a lot about this boy, KD. I've also seen a great deal about this Aikens geezer. Strong as an ox, but at 34, probably won't be featuring for long. The midfield not looking too shabby, but also nothing to write home about. Now, this is an interesting one for me. Jordan Barry, ex-Villa boy. Now playing right back. When the bloody hell did that happen? But the rest of them, if you don't mind me saying, League 2 fodder. We definitely have our work cut out. We definitely need to get some rebuilding. So let's go and have a look at the players we can sign then. Now, as we flick through all the suitable candidates... It's not very realistic that a League 2 side will have the pick of the crop. Now, once we've been off on our scouting mission every single season, we're going to pick a date on this calendar, starting with the 31st of August in League 2, working our way all the way up to League 1, where we're going to go to the 13th of August. Now, after that, if we're successful and we make it up to the Championship, we'll only have to sim through till the 1st of August. And then when we get out of the hardest division in all of world football, we get ourselves up to the dance. We won't have to do any simming whatsoever. Now, what this means is while we're simming along, it gives every other club in the world opportunity to take the best of the best from the free agents and just leaves us with the scraps. So after doing all of the little bits of admin that we needed to get done, 2 million in the transfer budget with almost 40k wages. That means we can start having a look at some of these players who are just going to add a little bit more quality to this team. And of course, we're going to start with the highest rating and that's going to be Julian Quinones. Can play anywhere along the front three, quick. Agile with an eye for goal that would make a Cyclops jealous. Just one of them players that you just love to have in League 2. Now, the second signing that we're going to pick up is a lad that we've had before. It's going to be Nagy, someone big, strong on that left-hand side. Just chalk on his boots all day long. Now, our third signing is someone that I'm not ashamed to say even heard of? He goes by the name of Elijah Just, a right winger who's quicker than me in bed with Ariana Grande. I tell you right now, he is going to scare the bejesus out of the League 2 defenders. And oh yeah, did I mention we got him on a five-year deal? And last but certainly not least, around our dirty dealings, Ishmael Mohamed. 
coming in as a right back option. Now, before we get into some of the gameplay, I just wanted to show you some of the lads that we've got in the youth academy as well. We're just going to sign them all. But I'm going to throw it over to you lot to get them suited and booted because the way you wear your trousers are funny fam. Well, I see you've boot cough. Adam, my local youth, if you are excited about this series, make sure you've dropped it a like right now. Make sure you subscribed around here if you're a fresh faced little newbie. Make sure you're commenting down below things that you want to see me do in this series. And just so you know the way we do things around these parts is that we play a bag of highlights to start with and then the big important games at the end of the season. We'll play them live. Now, the first game up in this season was against the Primark Wimbledon. It's the MK Dons. Harrison slips between the defenders like a nice bit of totty. Slips between the nightclub bouncers and smashes the Dons into the lead. Not long after, just drops a shoulder, sends his defender for a hot dog, but can't quite sneak his effort into the top banjo. Just before half-time, Quinny picks the ball up, shows us that searing pace that we've been looking forward to. But it's a fingertip stop for Nicky keeper that denies him. But in the 90th minute, just as the time is whittling away, it's KD into Julian. What a way to introduce yourself to Field Mill. Snatches us a point at the death as we go into the next game in the league, which is up against Crawley Town. Now, it was during this game that two things became painfully obvious. First of all, we need to wake up at the start of games. And second of all, Julian has got better heading stats than your sister. Pure sloppy toppy 3000. But at the minute, everything that we do comes through Julian as the ball gets fired into him. A beautiful little touch over his shoulder. But he's shooting just like my former contraceptions. Just aim for his face. Our defensive line though, looking like garlic chili noodles. I've never seen a more curved back line. But it's Quinny to catch their right back napping. He's off like knickers on freshers week. And I know this is only his second game but we know how this story ends already he pulls it back to two all we've got a corner in the 90th step forward king julian he's physically fit physically fit physically 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 fit is it night fit fantastic four goals in two games including two in the 90s you just know this is going to be mr clutch hey up someone get messi's bodyguard on the blower because it's a sniper in the crowd um uh never have i ever seen a dive that criminal but it's king julian once again bring it down on his chest flick it over his shoulder and he's gone he's off like the milk of that weird guy on tiktok always leaving stuff out just put it in the fridge you're wrong and all king julian needs is to get his shots dialed in and then he's absolutely cash money and as kd swings the ball over to him couple of touches steadies himself and it's slotsville california with our unbeaten run still intact we host crew at field mill our youth academy prospect to carter dinks a ball through to quinney the crew defender thwarts his advances with his hand which leaves king julian slinging balls into holes since 1997 someone in that crowd painting like one of your french girls leaving me with a question is there any type of goal that this man can't bury sling it in the box it'll win you a header stick him through one on one it's like playing poker with a witch stick him over a dead ball he's got technique that would make a ballet dancer blush this lad is just different Bisto granules. But at the back, we're like an old man taking his grandkids to school on a Saturday. We don't know what day of the week it is. Pin bows us out at the back a couple of times. Yes, that is Webster. Yes, I miss him very dearly. But as Barry picks the ball up here, he just hits and hopes kick and rush type of football. It's calamitous from the goalkeeper. But it is damn right embarrassing from KD. Oh, check it off, son. I know you're going to come good at some point. Last game of these highlights then up against the Wombles. Now, the one thing that we haven't seen from King Julian yet is if he can twat it from distance. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that then. He brings it down, spins on it, and God help us if we ever get into Europe and he's still knocking around. He's not going to be able to get past airport security. He's got an absolute rocket on him. Now, what we tend to do in these RTGs is we normally find a replacement for the goalkeeper right quick. Maybe a youth academy prospect. This time, Pim's been pretty decent. Taxi for Pim! What are you playing at, as we always say? If in doubt, get it out. He does pay us back with a couple unbelievable 
more saves late on in this game though, including this one, deflection, tipped onto the bar. And the one thing that I'm starting to see in this team, we love a late, late show. Katie, like he's shitting in a swimming pool, floats one over to Nichols. And like a thief in the night, he's only gone and snatched all three <laughs> points. Now then at the halfway stage in this league season, Mansfield Town. Just where they sit in real life, right at the top of the pack. Still alive and kicking in the FA Cup. We're up against championship opponents, Cardiff. But with a number of players with less than six months left on their contracts. And with no chance of a contract negotiation. We seriously need to get rid of some of the deadwood. Get some funds in so we can start working our magic on the free agents. And with a big shout out to Evan Starr over on TikTok. Tell me about this little bloke right here. We had to figure it out and get her done. Labrovic, our new Croatian shot stopper. He's then followed into the club by a techie little midfielder by the name of Marcel Ruiz. And last but not least, a man who you certainly would not like to meet down a dark alleyway. Sounds like he would decapitate your nan for a bag of coke. It's Pedro Miguel. Now, as we go into the second half of the season, our lineup is looking pretty wet. A couple of options off the bench. Don't say it. Don't, no, just, no, don't say it. We're going for a title charge and FA Cup run. And with the FA Cup being said then, it's championship opponents Cardiff making their way to Field Mill. And with the added quality in this squad now, it's going to be a real acid test to see if we can go boxing with the big boys. Now early doors here as we deal with a corner kick. Okada's going to pick the ball up, drop it into Lewis and we've got a break on, but it's Gutas. He goes flying in from behind. It's a cynical foul. Go and get yourself in the bath, son. Make me sick if I look at you. But from then on, it was basically like a little bit of a training game for us. Hewitt coming flying forward here, the centre-back with a lovely little pot shot. Ruiz then plays the corner to the edge of the box. And the samurai plunges his katana into the heart of guardy fans everywhere. And an absolute dagger into the top, Binza. And I know what you're going to say, CMK, you've only played a couple of games and you don't know what he's going to be like. He's going to be the greatest of all time. This boy is going right to the very top. Right to the very top. Minutes later though, Pedro could have, should have got his marching orders as well. But it's another quality ball in through ease. It's an unbelievable header from Hewitt, which sticks us into the hat for the next round of the FA Cup. We find ourselves at Selhurst Park to face the Crystal Palace. Well, in the first couple of minutes, it looked like it was going to be a long old afternoon as Kwame strikes one off the bar. But as Quinones picks the ball up here, he's like a freight train. Once he gets going, he's very, very difficult to stop. He blasts through the Crystal Palace back line. He can see the whites of the keeper's eyes and he must have an Italian man made of plastic in his boots. He's clearly got Roberto's. But after that seemed to give us a little bit of a boost, Quinones with another wonderful effort. But just before the half an hour mark, Crystal Palace come forward. It's an unbelievable start from Lebrovic. But it's Eze on target to bundle it over the line. Then as we enter the last 10 minutes of the game, it's another Youth Academy prospect to have a pot shot from deep. Shiverchuk troubles the goalkeeper. And then from the resulting corner, it's Bailey Cargill at the back stick. Rises like Jesus on a Sunday. It's absolutely biblical. And that does mean, of course, Crystal Palace have to come to Field Mill. And I'm telling you, when any team come here, all bets are off. Because we can produce a bit of magic. Ishmael Mohammed, the Qatari Cafu. He strikes one. And I tell you what, that one stayed hit. Uh, realistically, though, a right back. He's never going to score that type of goal again, is he? Go on, then, man. He'd have another strike, son. Ooh. Absolutely peppering the Crystal Palace goal in the opening exchanges here. Unbelievable save from Lobrovic, though. We got Palace so rattled, they have to resort to diving. And once again, someone get on the blower to MR5. That's not but still about. Justice was done, though, as Lobrovic does save Eze's penalty. And look at the boys, proud of them, battling to the end. But it's only a matter of time until Crystal Palace's quality did start to show. And it's Eze once again. Which does take the game to penalties. And it's our two big hitters to miss in the penalty shootout. Queen Ones and KD. 
And it was El Doshery to stick the ball down the middle and stick Crystal Palace in the pot for the next round. Don't worry, boys, we'll be back. But hang on, a little surprise trip to Wembley for the Bristol Street Motors. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're getting worse. Lavery puts Blackpool one up, but it's KD to dink the ball into Quinones, who flicks the ball onto Ruiz. What a time to get your first goal for your new club, by the way. That sends us all the way to a penalty shootout, and it's the man who looks like he should be living in Melbourne, let alone Mansfield. And that leaves our Youth Academy goalkeeper, Limburg with a chance to write his name into the history books for Mansfield. Look, it's not the one that we wanted. It's called the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. But like I said before, we're here for the lot. First of many, boys. First of many. Back to league action, then. It's the Nottinghamshire Derby. And well, uh, we got absolutely well and truly slapped up. It was a clinic from Crowley. Tucks away the first after a little bit of good play down the wing but then swings that one into the top banjo. Trying to get back to winning ways up here against Bradford. It's Shiverchuk to have a go from deep. Shiverchuk couldn't do it. Maybe Ruiz can. Denied two wonder goals in the same game by the beans on. Just off the M5 for the next one. We're up against Warsaw and it's absolutely laser focus from Ruiz. Definitely someone we're looking at future captain material. Just towing this one away from the defender. Earns himself a penalty, but gets himself an injury in the process. Quinone steps up, and it's like watching RuPaul's drag race the way this boy tucks his balls away. Now, probably what is the most important game of the season? They're in second, we're in third, game in hand. And Ruiz goes and gets himself sent off early doors. He's got time for a bath, let alone a shower. But with just out, it means that Okada had a chance to start in this game. And well, the little samurai. Proving to the fans why Harley shows so much faith in him. He's going to be with us right to the very end. He cannot wait for Ajax away. And then the final game of these highlights then, it's up against top of the league Wrexham. And you know what King Julian's doing, isn't he? Pulling out Rabonas. KD on the end of it, smashing the ball home. Snatching all three points. And let's just have a look at how that reshapes the old table, shall we? So with two games left in this league season, we sit two points behind both the league leaders, Wrexham and Forest Green. But as you can see right there, we've got that game in hand. And those two final games of this league season, it's Salford away. And then we've got Colchester at home. So the team to face Salford is going to be Lebrovic in goal. It's going to be Mohamed, Hewitt, Cargill and Nagy at the back. Reed centre defence in midfield. We're going to have Lewis and Ruiz in the midfield. And a front three of Quinones, Kelly Adorn. And because Lewis is out injured... Okada gets a start. Can we get the big win? Can we go into the final day with our fate in our own hands? We'll find out next. And it's live! Here we go then, it comes down to these final two games of the season. It, sh it shouldn't have though, we were absolutely shooing jobby at Christmas. But just like that really weird pervy uncle that's got a foot fetish. God, it's shoot out jobby, innit? I don't even know what that means. I'm not even making any sense because my mind is all on this. It's all on the big three points. Come on, you stags! Let's get into this. Let's get this stuck away. Nice and early doors. Ruiz. Should be the one dictating play. Akada, you're away, yeah? Strike that! Oh! Stings of gloves! It's a great little start, though. Picking passes left, right and centre. And Ruiz here. He's just going to swing one into the back stick where he can see Cargill. It's not his Hewitt sub. KD gets the ball down. He's just going to strike one, though. Oh, my God. Lads, we're on this and we were up for this. I love this already. Right. Calm it down in this mid then. Get it in there, lovely tackle. Ruiz brings Lewis in. I can see Ruiz has carried on his run. It's that one down to KD. Oh, he was offside. Oh my God, I'm absolutely gassed. Jesus Christ. If this video never comes out, 
Best believe I collapsed, fell off my chair and smashed my head off the wall. Oh, ref, mate, come on. I know we've been absolutely smashing your left, right and centre, but there's no need to smash Nagy like that. <sighs> yeah, lay, you know, mate, you looker. John McGinn stuff, that was. He's going. Have we got enough time, though? Have we got anyone in the box who's going to give him hand? Find a card! Ah! It's going to be half time. Whistle blows. Uh, well, we had an absolute hectic first couple tens. But after that, we stagnated a little bit. We need to come back out with that pure intensity. Wants to step into midfield. Thought better of it. Here's Salim then. Dinks the ball over to Kukonones. He's just going to strike one. Ooh. Cairns didn't know where the ball was going. Absolute butterfinger job eh? I don't like this. Ball into a carder. KD's got it touched down. Strikes one. Our ball then. Our ball. And this. No, yeah. Ruiz. Step back, son. Step back and watch Master at work. Step back and watch the Master at work! Oh! When's it coming? When is it coming? Oh, that's whiskers, that is. Ball. Oh, I was going to say ball in. It's not. And they've given it away. And Quinny, you can get running here. He hasn't been able to beat him all day, has he? But Ruiz has stolen a march. It's KD! Oh, KD! What a finish! Oh, he's so good. He's teleported through the net. Oh, he's alien. He's something out of this world. But I tell you what, that finish was something out of this stratosphere. Jesus Christ. Left Cairns in goal. Looking like a bungalow. Because that geezer's got nothing upstairs. Come on then. Let's see this out. If we can get another. Absolute b -b 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 bonus. Ball in. Easy dealt with. And we go then. KD brings it down. Oh, referee! He's got to go. He's got... He's not even a yeller. Not even a yeller. Come on. Just get it under control, kid. Danger. Nagy, that's class. That is unbelievable work, Nags. Go on then, just have a run. Just have a run at him, Nags. Eat him. Go on, Nagy. Keep going, son. Just keep him pending. Oh, that is work. Putting in. What? Oh, fuck off. Long ball then. Big wins. It's great wins. And it's done. Oh, what a big win. KD coming in with some little bit of magic. But that is not work done for this season. We've got one more game. And it could be to win the League 2 title. Right, and who's ready? For a historic day in this Stags RTG. The boys, all we need to do today is better the result of Forest Green and of Wrexham. But let's face it, we're out here to win, aren't we? Same team as before. Come on, the boys. Come on, the Stags. Let's get this put away nice and early, yeah? Nice, Louie. Come on then, Reader. Step into the midfield. And he's away. Jesus Christ, he ain't stopping. Go on then, stick a ball in. Stick a ball in. Oh! Egbo. We've nicked it and we go. Quinny, on you go then, son. Just touch it. There's a couple people back post. If we can find him, a Oh, what a start that would have been. 
Could have been a little bit closer to the goal, Quinny. Stick it on a silver platter for him next time. You know what I'm saying, son? Ruiz, in we go then. KD's in there. Nagy goes for the absolute acrobatics. But Ruiz, he's fallen to. Yeah, that's shocking. Tries to bring it inside, but can see Ocado on the far side. Nick it. Oh, that ball is on. It is on. I can see it's on. Well, one. Go on, Ocado. Go on, Ocado. Ocado. Ocado! He's nicked it! Finish! Yes! Oh, what an absolute little snatch and grab jobby there. The little Japanese wonder kid has done the old Atencione pickpocket. And the finish is mustard in it. Look at that. A little bit of shape on it. A little bit of outside on it. Oh, my God. It has a card. Uh. Just gone and sealed it, you know. I think he has. I think he has because we've been mustard at the back. Oh, danger. Danger. Danger, danger. Oh, no. Bailey's gone flying in. Stand him. Stand him. Bailey! Oh! Oh, Cargill, you were absolutely dancing for about five minutes there, kid. No one wants it with... Oh, referee? Are you joking, ref? That's, that's a yellow card, at least, if not a red. 1-0 into the break, then. Okay, he's going to have to come off, isn't he? But not before. Quinny gets us a second. Maybe. Or dinks it into the far stick where Okada's in there! Oh! He's took it off his toenail! Reed. Strike one then. Strike one then! Oh! Send that straight away. Lovely. Oh, I thought it was straight into KD's feet. Why are we just standing around, all of us? Why are we all just standing around there? Are you joking me? Come on. Defending at the back post. Just just pay attention. I'm going to try and take him. No one wants it with Pedro, do they? No one wants it with Ped. And we go. That ball through the middle. He's found him. It's Ruiz. He's getting caught. He's going to strike one. Oh, what an effort. Oh, Anderson's gone. Anderson's gone. Nagate a winning. And we go. That ball. Keep it. Well done, Nags. It's beautiful. And we can see Quinny for stick. Why is the ball in that bad, though? God, I can't wait to play with higher rated players than this. Jesus. Absolutely hanging. Can you deal with it? Well done, Ped. It's a corner, though. Yeah, I don't want to bring a card off. I want him to uh, play the whole game. Well, we've only got four minutes left, lads. Come on. Get this gone. Get this gone. A card. Well up, son. Well up again. Nice. It's well dealt with, lads. Come on, then. Not got long left. Big fast switch. Lovely. Oh, Pedro, you got to take it with you, though, son. Ball out to Ocada. He'll just bring it down. Oh, absolutely on a sixpence. Swing that ball in then. Quinny's in there. Oh! It's done. There we go. I was too, too gutted about Quinny not getting his head on that. Why are we? Yes, we are going madness. Get in. The little man from Japan has secured it. I don't know when I've done this, you know. I don't know when I've won the League 2 title. First time of asking. I don't know if it's ever been done on this channel. This team is something special, you know. Something absolutely is cooking here at Field Mill. The oldest football stadium in the world. No, it's not in the world, though, is it? It's in the UK. But still, might as well be the world. Here we go, the boys. Get yourself up on that podium.
And it's, oh, it's not going to be KD to lift it, though, is it? Who got the fucking armband? Oh, that's all right. Labrovic has been an absolute game changer for us. Unbelievable between the sticks. He's going to lift it aloft. Mansfield, lead to champs. Come on, then, boys. Let's go and have a look at the statistics. And also, who are we going to be signing next season? Right, an end of season statisticals then, and as you might have guessed it, Quinone is, of course, top goal scorer. 26 and 10. Kelly Dunn also putting up some decent numbers, 13 and 13. But the story of the season, the Qatari Cafu, even though he's dropped by three ratings, coming with nine goals. And then Ruiz coming in with eight and seven all round. Top shagger. King Julian, though, was just beat out by one goal by Forrest Green's, I don't know, Deutsch? But Kelly Adun does top the assist table. Now, at the start of the next episode, I am going to offer out three new contracts, but there are five players with less than 12 months left on their current. One of those being Bailey Cargill, the other being Lewis Reed. Aaron Lewis as well is another, along with Kay Dizzle. And then last and certainly not by least... King Julian. Now, of course, that does mean that they will be playing for us next season, but it's the season after that we might lose them. Who goes? Who stays? You decide. Now, of course, we're not just talking outs, we're also talking ins, because I've done a deep dive on the free agents list, and the best of the best are on the screen right now. So go ahead and pause the video, rewind it if you need, do your own little bits of research. But all I need you guys to do is get down in the comment section below. Tell me who I should be signing. I'll also be putting out polls on my community page throughout the week. So get voting in those as well. But now, geezers, if you enjoyed that video and you are excited for this series, make sure that you drop a like on this video right now. Make sure that you go and follow me on my other socials as well. Everything's on the screen right now. Make sure that you comment down below who you want to be seeing me bring in for next season. And also, and get yourself subscribed if you're new around these parts. But that's all for today, geezers. I will see you next weekend with another Mansfield Road to Glory. It's much love for me. And peace.